What's up everyone, Jordan here with Rockslide. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about backpacking stoves and just specifically uh, stoves that use a canister such as this. Um, that's all that I have ever really used and been around and that's just kind of, it seems like it's just kind of the standard. Um, so I just kind of want to talk about that real quick, kind of all-in-one versus your uh, kind of DIY systems or kits or whatever. Um, so these ones right here, these are your more all-in-one systems. And what I mean by that is when you buy them off the shelf, you're purchasing the stove and the, and the cup itself. So like this is the Jetboil Flash. This is just exactly what it looks like coming out of the package. Um, I have a little stand here. Some of them have this and some of them don't. But I have a little stand here that the, the uh, canister will sit on top of for, it's for stabilization really. Um, so I've got that, but then I have the stove here. And this is the, the stove for the flash. And you take this canister and you screw it on to the bottom of this and you can put a little bit of uh, you turn the the knob here and you can hear a little bit of gas and this specific one has um gosh i think they call them a, i just totally spaced it like a bezier bezier lighter um it's basically you can click that and it creates a spark so it'll try to light um those don't always work, especially when you get in cold weather, those can really fail on you. So you always want to make sure that you have some kind of a lighter to light these things with. Um, but your all-in-one systems, it's going to come with your stove and then it's going to come with your pot. And for the most part, the pot and the stove, like the cup, um, are made for each other. So in a lot of situations, if you wanted to put like a pot or a different kind of pan or something like that, on this, say you lost this or something or you forgot it, it's going to be really hard to do that. Um, you know, this one, I'm not sure. You might be able to get away with it, with that one. But for the most part, your all-in-one systems, you're buying the cup and you're buying the stove and they're going to fit together and they all come in one package. And so it's kind of a more of a one and done type thing. Um, for the most part, everything will fit inside of the cup so like a small canister your stove and then if i were going to put this bad boy in there it would also fit and then you could pop the lid on and there you go that's your stove system all in one um the msr wind burner is right here and then the flash also comes with this little cup thing on the bottom but the the wind burner comes with the same with the same thing this uh well this is probably the msr's closest version to like the the jet boil flash i really like this one um i think of all three of these this is the msr reactor this is msr wind burner this is the jet boil flash out of all three of these this one handles the wind better in my opinion um it is almost it is also the most expensive one um, for the most part, but it's a very tried and true stove. It has a little bit different setup than these two. Um, both of these have like a, this is, this one's super thin, but it's like a cozy. Um, this one you can see it's more like a, you know, it's a koozie like for your beer or whatever. Um, so you can grab onto it when it's hot and pour the water into your meal or whatever. This one's the same thing. Um, I think this one heats up a little bit quicker than this one does. So if you do like a few boils, you're going to want to put gloves on or something. Whereas this one seemed to kind of keep that heat away from your hands better. But this wind burner is the exact same way as we were just talking. Um, the MSR stoves are a little bit different. They use a little bit different technology than this stove. Um, gosh, I'm totally spacing. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but just how the burner heats up is a little bit different. Um, so I got along with these stoves super, super well. I did a big review on them this year. And um, yeah, so these two are probably the most comparable to each other. Again, I think um, construction wise, like when you pick these things up, this one feels more durable. It is a little bit heavier. It's the heaviest of the three actually. These two are pretty dang close together, um, weight-wise. 
but if you take this MSR reactor, it doesn't have the cozy on the outside, so it actually just has a handle that flips out. And you have a, your lid, and then, and then your burner. Um, so I also have the uh, a canister in there. So it just kind of depends what you're wanting to do. If you're going to want like a really one and done stove, especially if you're going to go through the later seasons, this is a bad, bad machine right here. Um, all in one systems for the most part tend to do a little bit better with wind. Um, that's why I did a review on these is because I wanted a stove system that was a little bit better in those later seasons when the wind's really picking up in the high country. Um, or in the back country, wherever you're at. So that's kind of what I was looking for there. Now the the system that I started with was this little guy, MSR Pocket Rocket. And this stove is for more of your all or not all in one, more of your DIY setup. So what you can do is you can buy the stove that you want. And this is the MSR Pocket Rocket. They have come out since uh, with a Pocket Rocket 2 and I think they have a Pocket Rocket Pro maybe. Um, but I've had this one a, a heck of a long time. I think I bought it for like 35 or 40 bucks. Um, I literally I bought it back in 2011. Um, so it's now 2020 so it's been around a while. Still works great. I ended up getting another one before I got into these all-in-ones um, just as another option. But this is the Soto Windmaster, just a little bit different, you know, they're about the, <clears throat> about the same size, but the, you know, the little prongs are a little bit different. The pocket rockets fold out like so, and then these ones flip out. And actually with the Windmaster, you can take these off, Let's see if I can figure out how to do it. You can take those off and they actually have one that's a three prong instead of a four, but it seemed like this four prong just fit, fit better, uh oh. I'm going to figure that out later. Um, but what you do with these is the same as the other ones. You screw them onto the canister. So they give you something like that. And then you can pick which pot you want. Or, you know, you could run a pan on them if you want. So this is the GSI Minimalist Cup. I bought this with this Pocket Rocket back in 2011. And it has a little cozy. As you can see, you just slide that off. You fill this with water. You... Put it on there just like that and it lets you um obviously it heats up your water so what you're gaining with these kind of diy systems is you can use the cup that you want typically they're going to be a little less compact like this one um i can still well i know it does so i know that the soto windmaster fits inside this cup um so I still kind of have the all-in-one system, but if you look at the, the difference, these are usually a little bit lighter as well. And then with the minimalist, you can just slide the koozie back on. And then the, the lid for this is actually, um, you can, I always flip it over upside down if I'm just boiling water. Um, then it has kind of some grippy material on the outside that when you put it on the cup, it sticks. Um, so it's like a, almost like a compressed fit and then it has a little hole for if you're like going to sip coffee out of so it doubles as my coffee cup and I warm um, you know dinners up or water up for dinners and things like that but uh, one good thing that you can do with these is you can have a little cup like this and then I went and got this GSI Soloist pot so it would be a little bit bigger if I was going to have more than just me if I was going to have a couple of people, I would be able to kind of spread it out a little bit better. It came with this other little cup here, um, but it's just a bigger pot and it sets right on the top. Um, so, you know, that's where something like the all-in-one system can be a little bit bad in a way because you are, especially this, the reactor, I do want to show this real quick. The reactor sits right on top of its stove just like that. Fits perfectly. Cuts the wind really well. Like, it's awesome. 
But if you were to like to leave this thing at home or they were to get separated and then you were to lose that or something, you can't, the way this burner's set up, you can't put this on top of, um, of, you can't just put any pot on top of this burner. So that's just something to, um, to think about. Typically your DIY systems, depending on what you get, they can be cheaper. They're typically cheaper, uh, you know, and you can kind of make it custom to what you want price wise. Um, the all in ones are going to be a little bit more expensive, but like I said, once you buy the thing off the shelf, you have the cup and the stove, you know, they're going to fit together. Um, I guess one last thing that I would like to say is, actually I'll just grab this one. These can, these uh, little canisters, I've had the best luck with MSRs. Um, I did a review on all three of these on the Rockslide website and it seemed like the, the MSR canister just worked the best. I used the Jetboil canister for that Jetboil and had a bad time with fuel flow when it got cold and it's because this canister was cold. I did a boiling test for these three right here, the MSR reactor, the MSR wind burner, and the jet boil flash. Um, I did a boil test. Um, I did them here at home inside. It was 65 degrees. Uh, it, we're at about 4,500 feet. And I used the jet boil canisters for all the stoves. So that was correct. Um, and what I was doing on the boil test is for one, I was seeing what the boil time was. And then for two, we were trying to do an efficiency test. Um, I didn't have, I don't have a lot of canisters around and I really don't have anywhere within three hours that I can get canisters quickly. Um, so what I did was we did five boils each and then I basically just subtracted the weight of the fuel canister before and the weight of the fuel canister after. Um, every time it would get to a boil I would shut the stove off, I would dump the water out, I would let that cool down, put the same uh, temperature of water back in here and I use two cups all the time because two cups seems to be what everybody uses for your your freeze-dried meals and then that's how I did the test so I kept it as as even <laughs> as I could um, I'm certainly like not a professional tester um, but so that's what I did the only thing I will say I didn't do but I didn't do it with all the boils is I didn't put the lids on them um, it was, I was a few boils in when I realized that I wasn't doing that, so I just kept it the same for all of them. Um, but the first one I tested was a wind burner, this bad boy right here, and it had a boil time of 1 minute 28 seconds. And then the weight difference of the canister, the fuel canister after 5 boils was uh, 26 grams. And then the second test was with the jet boil flash, it had a boil time of 1 minute 19 and the weight difference was 20 grams. And then the last one I did was a reactor, had a boil time of one minute 51, and then a weight difference of 23 grams. So I don't know how scientific that test was, if, if it wasn't good or not, I don't know. Um, but the wind burner came in as like the least efficient of five boils. I mean, you're talking three grams, it cannot be that much. Um, the reactor, was not quite the best, but the jet boil did really well. Um, the only thing I will say is the jet boil just feels more flimsy than the MSRs do. And there was something else. I think that was the big thing is they just feel more flimsy. And then um, I used all of these, you know, down into the teens for like when I was lighting them. And I had the most trouble with the jet boil. I just couldn't get the fuel to flow correctly. Um, and then I, I went right down and I was using a different canister and a different brand of canister, but I did put it onto the wind burner and it, it fired right up without too much issue. Um, I did have a little bit of flames first, um, but I didn't have an issue with it. And I really had an issue getting that jet boil going. So hopefully that helped. The elevation I was at when I was having those issues was around 9,000 feet. Um, I think it was like 9,300. And it was cold. Um, it was in the teens and the wind was really whipping. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's basically that rundown there. Um, if you are interested in that, it's just called MSR versus Jet Boil. It's on the Rockslide um, 
website. You can check that article out if you'd like. Um, but the biggest difference, you know, between those two, if you're just getting started out and you kind of want the cheapest option, this MSR Pocket Rocket is a badass little stove. And then if you do something like the GSI Minimalist set, um, it can make a really sweet one person setup for like 60 bucks, 80 bucks, kind of depending on where where you're going to get it. Um, these fuel canisters, I think they're like $6.99, 7 bucks or something like that. Um, seven, eight bucks a piece, probably around here anyways. Um, you know, you could step up to a bigger pot if you want to, but if you're going to, this is really good for like your earlier season, you know, you're like your September really lightweight, like kind of bonsai backpack trips or whatever. This is really good if you're going to hunt a lot in those rifle seasons where it's like October, November, there's a lot of wind, it's going to be cold. Um, I would look more into kind of these all-in-one systems, and I think that that's really all that I have to say about that. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I, uh, as soon as I see them, and hope you guys have a great day.